Hi, another video on what to eat if you are diabetic and I'm Dr. Khan. Today we are going to talk about 8 foods for natural diabetes treatment. And if you are eating some of those already, then that is great. You can look to add more of them to your meals and instead of garbage food that you need to throw out such as pizza, cake and pastries. Number one food item is a broccoli. One of the most nutrient dense veggies is broccoli and only 27 calories in 3 grams of digestible carbohydrates are found in 1 cup of cooked broccoli and it also has essential vitamins and minerals including magnesium and vitamin C and as we know magnesium is essential for adequate blood pressure regulation and just broccoli can surely help out in your sugar levels as well. And according to one study eating broccoli sprouts reduced blood sugar levels in diabetics. This decrease in blood sugar level is most likely due to something called sulforaphane and this is a substance found in cruciferous vegetables such as broccoli and, and broccoli sprouts. In summary, broccoli is a low calorie, low carbohydrate meal with a high nutritious content. Number two is olive oil, extra virgin olive oil for controlling diabetes. Extra virgin olive oil contains oleic acid. It is a kind of monosaturated fat that has antioxidant characteristics and may help glycemic control by lowering your fasting as well as after meal sugar levels. This is of course significant because patients with diabetes often have difficulty controlling their blood sugar levels after they've had their meals. In a large meta-analysis and meta-analysis is a study that combines a lot of different studies and they looked at 32 trials examining various forms of fat. So a meta-analysis is a study which combines a lot of other studies together and tries to come up with a conclusion. And they looked at different types of fat. And olive oil was a fat that was found to be helpful in lowering your diabetes as well as your heart disease risk. Olive oil also contains substances called polyphenols and they are great antioxidants as well. Polyphenols actually reduce inflammation, they protect the lining of your cells and your blood vessels and they also protect your LDL cholesterol from getting oxidated. And we know that LDL itself may not be bad but if it is oxidized then oxidized LDL is surely problematic. And if you want to lower blood pressure, olive oil also helps in blood pressure regulation as well because extra virgin olive oil is unprocessed, it preserves all of its antioxidants and other beneficial characteristics. But one thing you have to keep in mind is that you have to get extra virgin olive oil from a reliable source. As many olive oils are blended together with cheaper oils such as maize oil or soy oils so that has to be looked at. So in summary the oleic acid and the polyphenols that are found in extra virgin olive oil it is good for diabetics, it is good for high blood pressure and it definitely has heart protection action as well. Number three is going to be flax seeds and flax seeds is a common food item that you can sprinkle on any of your foods for your breakfast, lunch and dinner. So flax seeds are also commonly known as flax or linseeds and they have abundant heart healthy omega-3 fatty acids. They have fiber and they have something called lignin and lignins help actually reduce the risk of heart disease and enhance your blood sugar control also. And a study of 25 randomized controlled clinical trials actually found there is a strong link between uh, flax seed intake and blood sugar lowering. And furthermore, flax seeds actually have a significant amount of viscous fiber which actually improves your gut health. They also improve your insulin sensitivity and also give you sensations of fullness in your stomach so you don't end up eating more. Flax seeds may help reduce inflammation, reduce the risk of heart disease, they lower your blood sugar levels and enhance insulin sensitivity in summary. Number four, my friends, is apple cider vinegar. And of course, we know that doctors don't like to commonly talk about apple cider vinegar, but here I am talking about apple cider vinegar. So both apple cider vinegar and regular vinegar offer several health advantages. And despite the fact that it is manufactured from apples, um, the sugar amount in fruit is actually fermented into acetic acid. The end product has actually less than one gram of carbohydrates per tablespoon. A meta-analysis of six research studies including 317 persons with diabetes type 2 found that vinegar improves fasting sugar levels. Other health benefits of apple cider vinegar include um, antibacterial, antioxidant capabilities. However, of course, you need to have further research to validate many of the claims. But what you can do is start with four tablespoons mixed with a glass of water before each meal to introduce apple cider vinegar into your diet. 
If you want, you may choose to use only one teaspoon per glass of water to reduce the intensity of the flavor. However, you could potentially increase it to a maximum of about four uh, tablespoons per glass of water. So apple cider vinegar may aid in the improvement of fasting sugar levels. And other studies show that apple cider vinegar or vinegar itself and even things such as lemon can reduce the spikes of sugar that you have after your meal. So you can try these things out. Number five is strawberries as something you can eat to help control your diabetes. Yes, a fruit like strawberries. Strawberries are strong in anthocyanins, which are antioxidants that give them their, their red color. They also have polyphenols, which are beneficial uh, plant components, and they also have antioxidant characteristics, so that is great. A 2017 study showed that consuming polyphenols from strawberries and cranberries for six weeks actually enhanced insulin sensitivity in persons um, who were overweight and obese who actually did not have diabetes. So even if you don't have diabetes, uh, eating strawberries and cranberries can actually help out improve your insulin sensitivity. When you have good insulin sensitivity, you are less likely to become diabetic. So in summary, strawberries can be low sugar fruits and they have anti-inflammatory qualities and they may aid in the treatment of insulin resistance, which is the basic problem. Number six is garlic for control of your diabetes and garlic is a superfood considering how small it is and how much it can be helpful. It has manganese, vitamin B6, vitamin C, selenium, fiber, all of this can be found in garlic. And garlic has been shown in studies to aid in uh, blood glucose control and also to maintain cholesterol balance. And many studies on garlic and diabetes control actually use large amounts of garlic. However, this meta-analysis mentioned above only covered doses ranging from 0.05 to 1.5 grams of garlic. And just to give you an idea, one clove of garlic weighs about 3 grams. So small amounts of garlic can be enough to help many diabetics. So in summary, garlic can help reduce blood sugar levels, help out with inflammation, regulate your cholesterol levels, and also beneficial for high blood pressure. Number seven is squash. And this is a food item that people normally don't talk about when you're talking about diabetes control. Squash comes in many different kinds, and this is probably one of the most healthiest vegetables. The thick, satisfying dish, it has low glycemic index and is relatively low in calories. You can have acorn, pumpkin, and butternut, um, all with hard shells. Uh, in winter, these varieties can be used. Um, summer squash has skin, which is also edible. Uh, zucchini and Italian squash are the most frequent types that people consume. And squash, of course, like other vegetables, they are high in antioxidants. Squash also has less sugar than sweet potatoes, making it an excellent substitute for sweet potatoes. So use squash instead of potatoes when you are diabetic. And pumpkin polysaccharides, which are also contained in squash, uh, they have been shown in studies to increase insulin tolerance and lower blood sugar levels in rats. So basically, the body is able to use insulin better. But I admit there is little research, however, research is promising. So more human research is needed to validate uh, the health benefits of squash. However, squash's healthy advantages make it an excellent addition to any meal. So in summary, summer and winter squash include antioxidants that may help reduce your sugar levels as well as help out with your health in general. Last but not the least, number eight is green leafy vegetables to help control diabetes. So leafy green veggies are high in nutrients and low in calories. They're also low in digestible carbohydrates. And this means that you won't be raising your sugar levels much if you consume vegetables. Now spinach, kale, and other leafy greens are high in numerous vitamins and minerals, including vitamin C. And according to some data, persons with diabetes have a lower level of vitamin C levels compared to people who are not diabetics. So that may mean that people who are diabetic may need to consume more vitamin C in their diet. And as we know, vitamin C is a powerful antioxidant and also has anti-inflammatory properties. So of course, these type of vegetables are high in fiber and increased dietary consumption of vitamin C in foods such as this can assist patients with their diabetes in controlling their sugar levels as well as reducing inflammation and controlling any cellular damage. So in summary, green leafy vegetables are high in nutrients like vitamin C as well as antioxidants that protect your heart, your liver, your eyes, your kidneys, everything is helped here. Anyways, if you are a diabetic or happen to know someone who is, I hope this video was helpful for you. And 
uh, may seem like ordinary foods, but through deeper research, we can always learn something new. So that's all for today, folks. Uh, stay tuned for more diabetes prevention and management advice. And if you really want to know more about foods to control your diabetes, check out this video on eight more foods to help treat diabetes. So after this, you should be set. Talk to you guys soon. Thank you so much.